the high level concept is that it mimics the investment process of an army of equity research analysts that are working around the clock. Specifically, what that means is uh, we're pulling in financial statements on about 6,000 U.S. companies. We're using AI to analyze management teams. We're using AI to, man to process about a million news articles and social media postings every day. And you're going through the individual companies. So, for instance, I saw one that, because I covered the gaming <clears throat> industry, you have Little Void Gaming on here, uh, up 4%. It's one of your top 10 picks. It comes in at number 9 they're looking at individual companies and saying, here's how geopolitical factors could influence it. A trade deal with Mexico might influence this company, but it's all computers doing the work. That's correct. So, What's the advantage? Yeah, so the, the advantage is to get all that information, right, millions of news articles, social media postings, to distill all that information into uh, one uh, mind to make intelligent investment decisions. It's impossible to do that across an army of, of analysts, right, because they don't know what they're thinking. And so the scale and the speed uh, it just isn't replicable with humans. But how are the algorithms programmed in that? Are they programmed to, for instance, value value stocks over growth, to value large caps over small caps? I mean, there, there are certain biases, right, that are going to be embedded into the algorithms in the way that they're, that they're programmed. Yeah, so, um, so it, it does recognize a bunch of various factors like capitalization and value versus growth, um, but it's, it's much more than that. Those are just individual uh, data points, you know, how, who the management team is, how they're executing on their, on their strategy, um, the various events that are happening within each individual company. All of those are equally as important to whether we invest in a small cap company or a uh, It was a rocky start, though, because when you first launched, um, the, it, was, it was underperforming. What made the turnaround happen? Yeah, so I, I guess it goes back to the machine learning element, right? So uh, in the background, we're running thousands of hypothetical portfolios, test portfolios. And so we're learning from every trade that we make and every trade that we, we didn't make and, and also across these you know, thousands of hypothetical portfolios. So how many trades do you make? What's so, the turnover? Yeah, great question. So it's data dependent. So it depends. But on average, we're looking at about 1% to 2% uh, a day uh, within the portfolio. So that would be an annual turnover rate that's very high. That's correct. 300%. There are, like there are some efficiencies about utilizing an ETF through that creation redemption process so we can wash out some of those capital gains. Um, uh, but you're right, it is, it is a higher turnover process. So what's the fee then on the ETF? The fee is 75 basis points. 75 basis points. That's on the high side, isn't it? It depends. Well, it's an actively managed ETF, ETF as right. opposed to, a, to an index. Exactly. So it's expensive compared to the SP. But, but you know, robots don't work cheap, man. I guess not. <laughs> well, you know, you have to remember, maybe we don't have 12 or 13 analysts, but we have 12 or 13 engineers. So there, there are... You're going to pay them. Exactly.